Area 51, a highly classified and heavily guarded U.S. military installation in the southern Nevada desert. Ever since the rumored Roswell UFO crash of 1947, the American public has grown increasingly convinced that Area 51 is the hiding spot of extraterrestrial life, which, if revealed, would change the course of human history forever. This June, American citizen Maddie Roberts created a Facebook event organizing people to overpower the government and storm Area 51. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm gonna sit down with potential Area 51 stormers to learn the truth about their plans to raid one of the most dangerous and well-guarded military bases on Earth. Who are these people who propose to storm Area 51? Are they well-intentioned citizens hoping to save innocent captive aliens? Or are they gun-wielding psychopaths looking for an excuse to incite anarchy? Will the unprecedented amount of people planning to invade Area 51 use this viral event as an opportunity for a harmless, eccentric tourist attraction? Or will the hardcore conspiracy theorists use this opportunity to erupt a war between the US military and the civilians they swore to protect? Hey, Cecilia! Hi. What's up? Johnny! Hey. Anthony, nice hey. to meet you, man. Thank you so much for coming out and teaching me about the wondrous world of storming Area 51. Thanks for having me. So what do you consider yourself? Area 51 stormer, alien savior, or...? I would say more like alien save me. I think I fall more along the lines of a documentarian. Uh -huh. So I have to be there with the camera in hand, ready to document the Arby's secret menu that will be on the front lines. The Arby's secret menu is gonna be this? this. No, not this part. Oh my God. So Arby's from Georgia to Nevada is going to be driving a food truck that has an exclusive menu only for people at Area 51, not a sponsor. Think about this though. If the aliens do, you know, come out with us, yeah. we deserve to give them the world's <laughs> finest meat. <laughs> Why has the idea of overtaking the U.S. government to raid Area 51 become so popular lately? I think there is just so much turmoil between, you know, government and populace. Is it because they want more transparency from I, the government? I, I think it's part transparency because yeah. you never know what they're hiding. There could be anything in Area 51. Yeah. And on top of that, it's more just like, we're going to hit them where they're most vulnerable. So I think most vulnerable has to be Area 51. Because there's something there they don't want us to see and that's maybe... If we see it, it's yes. the biggest gotcha moment of all time. Hey government, gotcha. gotcha! How many people do you think would be required to physically overtake the US government in such a raid? Depends how many officers they have like at the gate. I would uh. say they probably don't have more than Ten, like right out front. So I think at least ten people, probably twenty, probably twenty to one hundred people could just like overwhelm them. You think it all requires a hundred people to overtake a U.S. top secret military base? At the front lines. What do you expect will be found hidden behind the concrete walls and barbed wire of Area 51? I mean, there have been a lot of accounts of different people who have you know, seen like the outskirts of Area 51 flight testing. Uh, Bob Lazar is a great example of someone who has you know, experienced Area 51 in its entirety and has seen you know, what he says to be basically flying saucers. It's secret because aliens already took it over. There aren't actually government workers there. It's actually aliens that are there. Mm -hmm. So we'll go there, maybe not even get shot by the government. Maybe we'll just get straight up abducted. What do your friends and family think about your proposed visit to Area 51? Uh, they definitely think I'm bat crazy. They don't think it's a good idea? They think it's a horrible idea. They think just being associated is like probably the worst thing I could do. Because yeah. if I do show up there and there's just sort of this mass like, all right, cool, everyone who's here, you're all arrested for trespassing. I don't really want to get mixed up in that, but I'm 100% willing to take that risk. My friends and family, I just wanted to thank you for your support thus far, and I'm just gonna go off the rails and head to Nevada and storm Area 51 now, if that's all right. Do you think the people who plan to Naruto run up to Area 51 will have the best chance of survival? They're gonna move faster than anyone else. I think really? if you Naruto run, there is a like 90% chance you are faster than Usain Bolt. I have been practicing. You practice the, the Naruto pr run? Yes, of course. I've been running at least you know a mile a day. Can you show me what that run looks like? Uh, you put your arms back uh -huh. and you arch, you arch your sort of like torso forward. Oh here. yeah, yeah. yeah. You stick that ass out. Uh -huh. All right. 
and then you just you're gonna want to run not normally like where you sort of like pick up your leg right, and go right, like that. Right, right. Yeah. No, it's more of a like just straight up, kind of like trying to touch your chest. Got motion. it. So almost. So you're just gonna your... be like that. Wow. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. How do you plan to get to and from Area 51 for the raid? Well, I do have an RV. You're gonna RV over there? Stop for the bathroom as often as I want to. Mm -hmm. Snacks. Mm -hmm. Don't poop in the RV. Why? Because it's gonna ruin the experience for everyone else. You do that outside in a hole. Do you think you're gonna have difficulty finding parking? You know, that is one thing I've been incredibly concerned about. If you ask me, I would Uber there. Depending on the rates. Depending on the, the rates of the I surge think pricing. I the range of a bird scooter is gonna quite make it, unfortunately. But that would be, the, well, would have been the best. Oh, that thing. would have been the way to go. I yeah. mean, that's probably faster than Naruto running. Extra Sauce wants to know what you'll use your rescued alien for. Yard work, personal gain, or just a friend because you're lonely? A friend, duh. Oh my gosh, I would never like put them to work. That's, that's so demeaning. What would you do with your alien friend? <laughs> the things I do with my friends now. Go so shopping, like, go out. Watch Stranger Things. Um, I do that alone, so no. Um, if I rescue like an alien, I'm just gonna sit there and be like his best friend. I'm yeah. gonna teach him how to be like the greatest like Mortal Kombat player that has ever been. Just so like the person who's the greatest Mortal Kombat player on the planet yeah. is someone from another planet. I just think it's like, eat that racist. Like, come on. If the captive aliens in Area 51 don't speak English, how would you communicate with them? How you would talk to a child of mm. like, Plant. And if they don't have lips, which I assume they do, but if they okay. don't, they'll just sort of like do their best. I just, I've just heard like that aluminum foil is just a way to communicate. Like, Where did you hear that? I don't know. I, through the grapevine. And you believe that to be a, a good way to communicate? Yeah. You wanna try it? I feel like you need to make some sort of headband and like. Wrap it oh, around. so like a Naruto headband. There, you said it right, at least. What do you think the biggest misconception is about people like you that plan to be there during the Area 51 storm? We're just your ordinary people looking for answers, you know? Mm -hmm. You might be crazy, but I feel like crazy is the new normal. It really is just this this crazy, cool, once in a lifetime experience where I'm willing to take a risk. There could be nobody that shows up and that's totally fine. At least yeah. I was there and was like, hey, here's my live stream of what's going on in Area 51. There was nothing. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. And then, you know, just that could be the end of it. Would you be willing to sing a song about Area 51, about the raid? This is the song for Area 51. I'm gonna run with all of my friends up to that gate at Area 51. Oh my dear, oh my dear, oh my, oh, oh my goodness. I have a surprise, I'll be right back. Hello, I am Aiden the Alien. So good to meet you. So good to meet you good too, to meet you Aiden. Too. I would like to see what you would do to rescue me from Area 51. Oh my God. Oh, it's a real alien. Help me, I'm in a cave. Is this the door here? Uh, yes, unlock it. Okay. Oh my God, thank you for saving me from the cage. You're welcome. Whoa. Wow. Can I hug you? Yeah. Okay. Yay, oh, oh my gosh. So nice to meet you. Will you actually storm Area 51? Depends if I can get off work. You don't want your boss to be upset if you're leaving work especially if you die without the 20, without a two week notice. Right, I genuinely don't think my boss would care if I die, they just want me to be there at work. So I actually have the perfect outfit for you to take with you oh my God. on the raid. It's, you know, camouflage for the desert. It's, the material's pretty strong. Oh, that's it's fantastic. Soft, but also bulletproof-ish. Yeah, it means better than nothing. It looks like the Chick-fil-A sign. And I love Chick-fil-A. Aliens, subscribe, me a pedildo. All right, you got five seconds to shout out, promote anything you want directly in the camera, go. Follow me on Instagram, Cecilia Grace Music. I've got a YouTube channel, John Mama Giles TV. I will upload the Area 51 video there. Instagram, Johnny Giles One, check it out. Thank you so much, Cecilia. Thank you. I feel like I now fully understand the wondrous world of preparing 
to raid Area 51. I'm glad, that's, yeah. that's the goal. After spending the day with Area 51 stormers, I've come to understand that the phenomenon around storming Area 51 is more about the statement of our curiosity than an actual plan. In our universe consisting of more galaxies than grains of sand on the entire Earth, it's not unreasonable to believe that aliens are out there and possibly already among us. While we may never know what the government is actually hiding at Area 51, the dedication to seeking transparency from the government is commendable in its own right. See you later, bye guys. Press a like. Oh my crown. This allows me to communicate with my homeland. What are they saying? <laughs> <laughs>